Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial we will learn how to create a super simple food recipe list app using API. Just a quick note that this tutorial is not about making custom widgets or other layouts. I want to focus more on the right API structure and how to integrate it with an app. Ok, let's begin. I have a complete new project in Flutter. I removed everything from the main.dart file. The only thing I left is my app stateless widget. I also modified a title with food recipe, disabled debug banner, and in theme data I added white primary color, body text to textile color I set to white, and for now home widget I set to empty scaffold. Now, let's go to the pubspec.yaml and make sure that SDK version is set to 2.7.0. This will disable a null safety feature and add HTTP package to the dependencies. Just in case, I left a link in the video description for the article, so you can get all code and steps guides from there. Ok, let's start with the project structure. In the lib folder, create two files, views and models. Inside views folders, create home.dart file and create a widgets folder. Inside this folder, create recipe cart.dart file. This will be our custom recipe cart widget. Now go to the home.dart file and import material design package. Then create a homepage stateful widget. Return scaffold instead of container and create an app bar with custom road title widget. Inside children add icon restaurant menu and text widget food recipe. Then add space between them by creating a sized box. Now let's copy a homepage stateful widget and put it in main.dart file instead of an empty scaffold. Make sure that you imported a homepage dart file. So, after we save changes, you will see that our homepage appeared on screen. Let's go back to homepage and make our title centralized by typing main axis alignment to center. Awesome! Now, let's create our custom recipe widget. Go to the recipe cart.dart file, import material design. Again, I don't want to spend time on custom widgets. So, go to the article that I provided in the description and copy the recipe cart code. Our custom recipe card widget takes title, which is a recipe name, then rating of recipe, total cooking time and thumbnail URL. Ok, we can now close this file and import to our homepage widget. In the scaffold body widget type recipe card and populate it with random information for now, until we connect it to API. You can use the data from the article if you want. If you save the changes, you will see that our single card with recipe appeared on the screen. That's great, now let's create two files inside models folder. One is recipe.dart and another is recipe.api.dart file. Awesome, now let's start to integrate recipe API. So, I will use a rapid API service for getting recipes. For this I found a YAML API. I will leave a link for this API in the description. The only thing you need to do in order to use this API is sign up with your own account. This API has a free version. If you go to pricing, you will be able to select a free plan. However, the only restriction that you will have is only 500 requests per month. For practicing, I think it's more than enough. Ok, let's go back to the endpoints and select get feeds list and click on the test endpoints. If everything is ok, you will receive a response in JSON format with recipes and other data. Expand first item of feed key. As you can see, there are many data that you can use in the app. However, for making this tutorial simpler, the only thing that we're gonna use is a details key. So in feed key, expand content and then expand details key. You might get confused with all this data. But for simplicity, we're gonna use only four parameters. First one is total time. Then we're gonna use image for thumbnails. So expand an images key. We will focus on only first elements of the images key. 
and we will take only hosted large URL for getting an image. Then we will use a name key for the title of recipe. And finally, we will use a rating tag for getting a rating for the recipe. Ok, now let's come back to our project and start to create a recipe models. So, in recipe.dart file, create a class recipe. We're gonna create only those parameters that we're gonna get from API. If you take a closer look, we will get a name, images, rating and total time. So, let's start with string name, string images, double rating and string total time. Then we need to initialize these variables. Ok, awesome, now let's create a factory recipe from JSON function. This will allow us to instantiate our recipe variables from JSON file that we're gonna get from API. Create factory recipe from JSON that takes a dynamic JSON. Then it will return a recipe instance with parameters name, JSON name as string. You may ask, why JSON name? Well, again, this is a key from the recipe that we're gonna get from details which is a recipe name. Next, we're gonna set image as string. However, as you may mention, image from the API is not a string, it's an array. So, what we will do is we're always gonna get first elements of the image and take hosted large URL. Great, finally, it will be rating as double and total time as string. So now we'll create another function recipe from snapshot. Basically what it's gonna do is take a list of data that will be converted to list of recipes. So return a snapshot list to map that will be at the end converted back to list. And inside map function return our earlier created factory recipe dot from json. Great, now we can move on. So let's create an API integration. Go to recipe.api.dart file and create recipe API class. Then we need to import three packages. One is dart converted, second one is our recipe model, and the last one is HTTP package as HTTP. Now let's go back to YAMLI API and copy request request query and request header so it's easier to convert it to Dart code. Paste it to recipe app class and comment everything. Next, create a future get recipe function. The only thing we need to change is that future will return a list of recipes. Next, create a variable URI and assign URI.http. So instead of authority, change it to hostname. Then unencoded path change to API path, which is feed slash list. And the last one will be our query as a map. So just copy and paste it from the commented line. Next create a final response. It will be a wait http.cat request that takes two parameters. One is URI variable that we created earlier and the second one is a header that we must use. Uncomment header and paste it to response header. Since http.get header is a map of string string, use query string true, make as a string. Ok, this is a very important note. Before we continue, make sure that you use your own X Rapid API key. Next, create a map data that will be assigned as JSON decode that takes response.body. Basically, our data will have a full response that we get from API call, which starts from feed key, if you remember. Next, we need to create a temporary list that will help us to parse the recipe data, since we have to select a specific data from API call. Ok, now we will loop through the data feed, because it's an array of recipes. And then we simply add i variable, content key and details key. And finally, return a recipe, recipe from snapshot function that takes our temporary list. And that's it! We now can remove commented lines, so we have a cleaner code. Good, now let's close recipe.api file, since we don't need it anymore. But leave recipe.dart file, as we will come back to it in just a moment. Go to homepage file and let's start to integrate API with our UI. So create a recipe list, make sure that you import a recipe package. Next create a boolean is loading and set it to true. 
Then create an override init function and leave it for now. Then create a future void function get recipes and assign our recipe list variable to recipe API dot get recipe. And after we receive a data, set state of is loading to false. Okay, now let's print our recipe variable to test our API and see if it's work. So initialize our get recipe function to init state. If we save our code and reload, we should see a list of recipes in the debug console. As you can see, we got our recipe from API. Our recipes is not really readable when we print them. So in order to fix this, let's come back to our recipe.dart file and create override string to string function. So we can customize our print output as we want. So now, if we reload the project, we should get readable recipe instance. Great, as you can see, it's easier to read our recipe if we need to debug them. Finally, let's remove static recipe card that we created at the beginning of the video. Type, if it's loading, then show circular progress indicator in center. Otherwise, build listView.builder that takes item count as our recipe length list and item builder that return our recipe card widget. The only thing I have to mention that our rating is a double, but recipe card rating is a string. My mistake. So just at the end add to string function. Awesome! Now if we save, we will get our recipe list from API. Just a quick note that this approach of loading data from API using circular progress indicator that redraw whole body is not efficient at all. Use for example stream builder or other block approach. I did it just for the video simplicity. Anyway, that's pretty much it for today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day!